All right, here we go. Purple Yam, our second cookie that I've never invested any resources in. So we're going to go do that right now. So if you guys remember watching for the espresso one, uh, espresso needed to be level 50 in order to actually unlock uh, the the candy. So I am actually going to do that real quick. The haul to make him level 70. Upgrade his skill. Uh, we actually farm more uh, charge powders to have exactly enough. All right, so there we go. Level 70. His single hit damage is increased now to 99.8%. All right, let's go look at his candy here. Berserker's Fury, 12 second cooldown. Everything is going to be exactly the same as I shared before, but this is going to be the more important part. Berserker's Fury, attack plus 20%, crit plus 20%, damage resist plus 8%, attack speed is going to be plus 10% per stack, and then cooldown during Berserker's Fury is decreased by 20 percent and then berserker spirit restores 50 percent of max hp every 0.5 seconds for three seconds all right so four stacks equals berserker spirit so he does have a self sustain here as well it says at plus 10 the fury bonus effect is plus 20 percent debuff resist per stack and berserker spirit bonus is damage resist plus 30. wow okay so 40 percent 50 percent so this guy is having some mad 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 tanking abilities here guys 40 percent per stack all right well let's not waste any time i'm just gonna create this thing real quick a few moments later okay there we go let's see how strong this guy is gonna be Oh, 216 and he did also receive a buff guys if you guys do, uh, remember he received a stat increase as well with this new update so i am actually going to be putting in um the damage resist on him okay there we go and where is our purple yam there we go purple yam versus the cake witch 8-30 in the dark mode let's go and before we get right back into the video guys i do want to give you guys a quick word from our sponsor of today's video and that's going to be kono kono is going to be an online store where you guys can go and pick up a various types of mechanical keyboards keycaps switches and things like that whether you guys are a keyboard enthusiast or not there's going to be something for you guys kono carries around so many different types of keyboard as well as keycaps and also they do carry around different switches so that it can match your preferences and for this video kono has actually sent me a keyboard that i have been trying out for the last week and also a desk mat that is going to be absolutely beautiful and as you guys can see uh the keyboard as well as the desk mat is wonderfully placed on my desk and i've been loving uh the feel as well as the sound of the keyboard that you guys will be able to hear during my live streams and right now So if you guys are looking for a new keyboard or desk mat or any new keycaps that you guys are wanting to make your own keyboard, you guys could check out Kono. I'll leave a link down in the description as well as the comment section. So if you guys would like to check it out, make sure to click on that and support the channel as well. And also, I do want to thank Kono for sponsoring this video. And thank you so much for this wonderful keyboard that you have sent me. Look at that. That's the, uh, the stack. Okay. That's the second right there. All right, here we go. He's at four stacks now, guys. All right, there we go. And the spirit popped. So he did get some healing. And now he has his stacks again. So he definitely has uh, self sustain here with his uh, with his spirit. Oh, look at that. I mean, he definitely is gonna beat it, right? Compared to someone like Espresso who did not have any uh, heal because we did bring the scythe. I mean, not bad damage either. Two hundred and ninety-two thousand. Two hundred and. Not bad, not bad. Let's see how much the the healing was. Okay, just self sustain, right? Self sustain healing. So I've been requested by somebody to try this team out. This is uh, a team that they've been testing out during the uh, in holiday server. So we're just gonna try it out and see how this works out, and then we'll try out different teams uh, for our first initial review. But here we go. We do have uh, purple yam here with the five of the 
solid almond everything else is going to be exactly the same as how i shared it previously in my videos so here we go going up against a camera arrow comp let's go here we go oh it's so slow crunchy purple yam pushing them all the way so camera arrow actually didn't get pushed there when she's uh using her skill but we have another one that's grouping people together And grouping them together for the summon units. And Purple Yam just survived until the very end. Jeez. I mean, Purple Yam is not doing damage here, but, you know, his, his role is tanking as well as, you know, just pushing all the enemies together. So, okay. All right, so we got uh, a fellow, a fellow uh, summoner comp here, except they are using a Sorbet. So let's see how well we do against this team uh, when they have a sorbet instead of us using purple yam. Here we go. Look at that, we're just pushing everybody. Oh, purple yam's gonna die though. Aww. He died early. I feel like we're gonna lose if uh, he dies early like that. Except our wolf is still alive. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Just because our purple yam was in the front to take the damage, Crunchy actually survived a little bit longer, allowing our wolf to actually last longer than their wolf. And then we're, our wolf was actually able to do more damage. 8 million damage by our Crunchy, thanks to our purple yam. But you can see that, you know, the damage output is definitely a lot lower. Purple Yam, again, just like Financier, is not going to be used as a, you know, as a DPS. I mean, he doesn't really have too much DPS, like, you know, to start with anyways. He's really just being used to group everyone together. So that is actually not bad. All right, here we go. Our actual arena against a, you know, comps here and there using the same comp. Let's go. Here we go. So something that I'm actually afraid of using clotted with purple yam, if you guys are wondering, you know, can you use it or not, is that purple yam pushes the enemy so far back, I feel like he's actually going to push ed the enemies away from clotted cream skill. So I don't think the synergy with pr clotted cream and purple yam is actually going to work out too well. But there you go. You guys were able to see all the group up. And then we're just able to just chew away at the enemies. Here we go. We're using Financier Espresso, our purple yam as well now against a summoner comp here. We're using the monocle. Let's see how well we do. All right. Will purple yam push the enemies away from Espresso's skill? We shall find out. Okay, that didn't do anything much. Oh, it's cause of the cause of oyster cookie soldiers. Purple Yam's not able to push the enemies. Purple Yam, are you gonna survive? Yam, are you gonna survive? Oh, Yam died. Oh, Espresso died. They got overran. Maybe the monocle was not it. We should have went with the um, with the feather. To keep Purple Yam alive. Uh, we're going to go up against this team. Double Tank Comp, Monocle. We're going to use Espresso, uh, Purple Yam, and Financier. Let's see how well we do. Here we go. They have a clotted. Purple Yam pushing them together. Espresso. Financier shield, good. What the? Where did all my cookies go? Eclair and Claudia just shredded my cookies. I don't think it's gonna work out too much, guys. I don't see a synergy happening here. I feel like the synergy with the summoner comp worked out a lot better. Yeah, something like this. So I feel like this this synergy is a lot better than using purple yam with like, you know, espresso financier. 
just because we're able to group up all the enemies for the summon units to kind of attack at. I feel like this has a lot better synergy. Yeah, there you go. Like, look, just grouping them up together for our, uh, our crunchy just makes it so strong here. Alright, to be honest with you guys, Purple Yam, I feel like it's the most underwhelming out of the three that we have tried out so far, uh, compared to Vampire Espresso. Uh, Purple Yam, I feel like it's not that OP for just, uh, the arena in general. Uh, just because his stacks... His stacks take way too long. It's every 15 seconds. His stacks takes way too long. And then for his uh, spirit to pop in order to get that sustain, I feel like it just, it's what? You need four stacks. That's a whole minute he needs to survive inside of the arena. And a whole minute inside of the arena is a very long time. Uh, and also just, you know, if you guys are thinking about Hapa Hyrule, I mean, his plus 30... Uh, looks really really good. He has debuff resist by 40% per stack and he's also receiving 50% uh, damage reduction when the spirit is uh, activated but you gotta realize it's the spirit right so one whole minute again and also it is plus 30 so I feel like this this is just not uh, a PvP cookie as of right now of course, you know, pe people might come up with some crazy builds, and if that happens, then I will be reviewing it. But I would say he's more geared towards the PvE aspect of it. So, you know, things like uh, using against... Because there's that debuff resist, you know, anyone who stuns, uh, anybody you want to get out of the way, like, uh, you know, the ends in episode 13, maybe even against someone like the cut purses, right? He's just going to be able to push them out of the way and then out of the range of your cookies. And then we'll be able to tank and receive that debuff resist. So I feel like, yeah, he's definitely right now geared more towards that uh, PVE aspect of it. And then Espresso is geared more towards the PvP aspect. And then Vampire himself is just absolutely busted, I feel like. Alright? So, I think that's going to be a good place for me to uh, conclude the first impression as well as review of Purple Yam's Magic Candy.